Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. And today's project is this cute little box that contains a two finger Kit Kat. And uh, this is just a little thank you. I have used the Attention Shoppers um, for the thanks. And I've also used these little flowers and these leaves from that plant for my decoration on there and it doesn't actually need a bow um, because it's perfectly um it, it stays closed on its own but <clears throat> i couldn't resist adding one because i just love a little bow um so i have done a lot of the prep for this already, including the fussy cutting, um, simply because, as you may be able to tell from my voice, I have a little bit of a cold at the moment, picked up on my way home from Mexico, I think. And um, so there's a very good chance that I could have a coughing fit, a sneezing fit, need to blow my nose or you know, any of the above um, in any combination. So try and keep this video as short as possible. Okay, so I have a piece of summer splash card that measures five and a half inches by five inches. So on the five and a half inches, I'm going to score that at three quarters of an inch. And at four and three quarters of an inch. What I've got on there. And then on the five inch side, I am going to score that at one and a half, two and a quarter, three and three quarters, and at four and a half. Okay, and that's all our scoring. All of the measurements will be in my blog post as normal and um, there'll be a link to that in the description for this video. So I'm just burnishing all of those lines I've just scored. Like so, all right. So this is going to be the top that um, tucks in. So we've got two wider panels here and I've got designer series paper. This is Unbounded Love. Unbounded Beauty. What's it called? Unbounded Beauty. The stamp set is Unbounded Love. Um, so I'm just going to add those and then I've got these two pieces there. Um, so the finished box measures four inches by one and a half by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so these panels here are three and three quarter inches long by one and a quarter deep. And these smaller ones, they're all three and three quarters long. This one's just half an inch wide. Okay. And it's just easier to add them all while your box is flat. I'm just trying to centre that between the score lines. And again, that's why I prefer to use liquid glue because you've got a little bit of wiggle room. Make sure you're happy with it. Before you give it a press down. There we are. So that is that done. We need to do a bit of cutting next. And along these edges here, just cut up all of those score lines there. I 
I put some cuticle oil on because my nails are dreadful at the moment. Um, possibly something to do with all the gardening that I've been doing um, before I went away on holiday. Um, which is the reason why I've not been getting my nails painted. Because I was spending money to get them painted and then absolutely ruining them in no time at all. Um, by doing some pretty heavy gardening. Um, I'm helping out at a community garden. So it's not just been nice gentle weeding, unfortunately, because the garden has been neglected for quite some time. Uh, so it's been kind of heavy landscaping sometimes. Um, and I do have very weak nails. So uh, they've been getting a bit trashed. So I'm having a couple of weeks uh, away on vacation has helped a little. But it won't last long. <clears throat> so yeah, I've just cut up all of those score lines there and on the square ones I've chopped in and I've left the rectangle ones there. So I'm guessing that's cuticle oil I've got on there. <laughs> Note to self, leave longer between recording a video or making any paper craft project after you've put cuticle oil on. Right, so this is the front panel there and it's nice to have a little bit of a thumb notch that you can make it easier to open. So I'm just using my one and three quarter inch circle punch. You could use any size of circle punch you've got that fits. Just take that little notch out there and definitely do it after you've put your designer series paper on so that you've got both notched exactly the same. Right, so these are our sides. How this is going to go is that that one will sit on top of that one and then that one will sit on top of that one and it'll cover up that mark. And likewise, um, that one comes in, that one's going to go on there and then that one's going to cover that. So we've got a nice smooth inside, you're not seeing any tabs there, okay? So to do this, I want to put glue on there and on there. I'm just going to do both of them at the same time. Okay. And then fold that around and then fold that down. Okay. Lining that all up nicely and giving that a press. Okay. Then same here. Stick that down and then fold that around. Using your liquid glue, give it a bit of a squish around to make sure you're happy with it. All lined up and there you go. Now, I found it a little bit easier to tuck the tabs in if I chopped them down a bit more and took a little bit more off the bottom there as well. You definitely want to have the tabs at the side because it stops this bit just pushing down. Um, but it does make it a little bit more awkward to get that in and that in all at the same time. So we've got with your Kit Kat. If you make the box a little bit longer, or maybe if you squish your Kit Kat ends, it would be easier. Life's not always easy though. There you go. It, it goes. It just needs a little subtle persuasion. Okay, so as I said, I've done some footy cutting. So I stamped this piece with um, Memento Black Ink onto Basic White and I fussy cut round. Now, there's a little line on there that if you fussy cut, you would need to get right into the flower to get rid of. So there's little tiny lines that you can see there. 
but I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm not bothered at all. Okay, um, stamped the thanks onto this little piece of card that I think is two, two inches by three quarters of an inch and again used Summer a Splash for that. Used the, I stamped these and I just fussy cut two of them, left a little bit on at the bottom to make it easier to attach. Okay, so we now need to assemble these. You decide where you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on there and pop that on. Okay, you know, something like that. So there's a little bit coming off there and this one does need to tuck down quite far so that it's not going too far over the top so I can add my glue to the bottom of that and pop that on there and that's someone at my door Sorry about that. So, um, that was the postman <laughs> and uh, it was a parcel for me, so I can't complain. <laughs> so again, I'm going to add glue to that little bit I've left on there. Gosh, you can tell how out of breath I am. <laughs> it's the cold. It's not my... It's not that I'm totally unfit, although I am. <laughs> Right, so that is now going to sit on there. That's needing a little bit more squished in, I think. How did I do that one? Oh, I did it at the end. A bit more. See, pay attention, Heather. So you get when you run away to answer the door. Right, that'll do. That will do. See, <laughs> see I've moved it. Right, so this is going to get popped up with our lovely dimensionals. Helps the bit stay in there as well. If I can get the backings off. Okay, so that I'm gonna go on there like that. I'm gonna move it slightly along so I can still get my bow on. Okay, and then I've got some bling. So I used both of the in colour gems, the shimmer gems and the resin dots. And where's my thingy? There it is. So I'm going to go again just using Summer Splash. And that's the reason why I didn't um, colour the flowers because I didn't actually want to bring in another colour. Um, that one there. I'll go with a little resiny one on here and I'll mix it up and go with a big resin one down here. Yeah, down here. The ribbon's going to go there, isn't it? So there we go. Just the ribbon. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous sheer ribbon with silver edging on it there and just she says just I love a ribbon I do love a ribbon I'm not very good at tying them um <clears throat> which is why I didn't untie that one to show you what was inside because I quite liked how it was sitting and I thought I'll never get it right again so uh let's see how we do with this one it does tie beautifully, this ribbon. Not all ribbons are equal when it comes to tying. So if you find a ribbon and you can't tie with it, not always your fault. That's my excuse. This one is easy to tie normally. And you can play about with it. 
until you are perfectly happy. That's quite pretty. As I say, completely unnecessary, but pretty, which in itself makes it necessary. And that's what we're doing. We're making a very small gift, a little gesture of thanks pretty as we possibly can. I've just pushed that in at the end there. There we go. Two lovely little treats ready to hand out to somebody or perhaps for me to send to my customers. That's a good idea. Right, okay. I made it through. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please do click on the subscribe button. Click the bell and get notification the next time I upload a tutorial. Until then, please do take care. Bye bye.